terrorism goes across the board, you can't say it's any one ethnic group because then you're getting bigoted. You're becoming racist. I mean, if you're just saying, oh, it's all white guys, that's racism. But look at it, isn't it? No, it's not. Welcome back. And if you like what you're about to see, well, let me first tell you what everybody else tells you what to do. So in case you don't know what to do by now, I'll tell you what to do. You're going to hit the like button if you like this damn video. And uh, you're going to subscribe uh, if you want more, see more of it, and be aware of it. Because they do knock subscribers off. And uh, because of my content, you know, the... You're going to want to keep abreast of what's going on. Uh, and you're going to want to support my dumb ass for being out there on the streets doing what I do. That being said, there's racism everywhere. No, there's not. Uh, I think the question I had up on the... Um, board this week was uh, can the Democrats win anything by calling everybody that disagrees with them a uh, racist or a Nazi? And these are some of the uh, some of the reactions I got from it. The first couple up is a uh, brother and sister. Nice, nice, but they can't. She came up telling me she had just given money to the uh, ACLU down the street because they are raising money for uh, immigration lawyers for illegal aliens. Yeah. So I kind of had a reminder that she's kind of cutting her own throat by doing that. Uh, and so anyway, we, I think I, I made a few points in the conversation and, and it went on. Uh, then we had a, a couple, a, a lot of fun. He was a Trump supporter and his, uh, his wife was and she was Clinton. So that was a lot of fun there. But it was the last guy. Oh, God. Well, this guy was a piece of work. He was probably the scariest person you'd ever want to run into. A liberal fascist racist that works in computer analytics. Serious, that's scary. Well, these are the guys that are working with Google and, uh, and rigging the election. So, um, uh, Again, if you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. Share, 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 please. And um, subscribe star.com if you want to. I need the help. Believe me. Hey, look, it's been really, really tough out there for the past uh, five, six weeks. The weather has been horrendous working against me. Uh, so I haven't been able to get out and want to have and get out. But it's, it's just been so hot. And uh, so what I get to sustain this channel out there on the streets, that has been cut down dramatically. So uh, if you would cut up the slack and go and make a contribution to PayPal, uh, badassuncleSam76 at gmail.com, become a subscribe star patron. Uh, that's in the description. Hit that subscribe star.com badass uncle sam go to uh my website badass uncle sam.com hit the patron button or please go get one of my designs and and help me fight this fight so uh thank you very much and uh let's get to this and i'll see you on the flip side about deportation oh, yeah. specifically yes and she looked me in the eyes and she said yes that's the only reason i signed it i don't need it. 
No, you I'm are a deportation lawyer. She told me that's what they're collecting money for, so I gave her money. For to defend against deportation? Yes. Yeah, well people that need lawyers that are that can't afford one. She said that's what it's going towards. For illegals? Yeah. Well, uh, not necessarily illegals, but... Well, yeah, necessarily well, illegals. Undocumented, but they're here and they're working, they have families. What about Americans that need help? We, uh, I'm, I'm an American, I need all the help I can get, but... Well, I thank you, for but what, why aren't they raising money for Americans? I mean... What, what, like veterans? Well, any, what I'm saying what is... What kind of Americans? Look, like, these people are over here. They're, all, they're getting... Help from people like the ACL and other nonprofits. And me. Right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. To keep people here to take our jobs and. What jobs? The, the jobs that we don't want to do, like the, the, the farming jobs and everything, and all the other. Wait like, a second, excuse me, did you, did, you, did you just see what happened in Mississippi? Well, yeah, they just went on a raid. Yeah, and then this past week, if you look at the headlines, mm -hmm. People from Mississippi were lining up to take those jobs. Yeah, I mean, they're all farmers in Mississippi. You know Again, yeah. they were lining up. Those were Americans yeah. lining up to, to, to take the jobs. They needed jobs. Yeah. Americans. Well, you think about all the spoiled people up north where I come from. They don't, they don't see it that way. They're very liberal. Yeah, well, I, yeah. I, 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 I was thinking about. I was thinking about. I, I don't know. I just said that. I'm thinking heartfelt. I, I I'm thinking like from America, a heartfelt mother's point of view of the, the, the women. Like America would. take care of other people before we take care of ourselves. That's why we do it so much. Isn't that before. kind of ass backwards? I mean, yeah. do you have a family? Do you take care of your family first? Yes, yes, sir. Before you take care of other people? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's what's wrong with America. I feel like that's why they're trying to get a lot of immigrants and foreigners out of the U.S. so we can take care of ourselves first before we take care of everybody else, which is understandable to me. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I, I look, over here in this park, every day there are homeless veterans. And Why home, is there like a sign? And over homeless. Did you design this? Yeah. No, that's, is, is this how you work? Because that's yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. that's my work. Yeah. Political satirical cartoonist come out here and get commentary from people. So you guys from New York? I'm not a New Yorker, sir. I'm Michigan. A, I'm, a, I'm a Midwest girl. Midwest girl. Okay. How do you, how do you relate it? How do you yeah, know well, this is my younger brother. We uh, we have different fathers, same mother. Oh, wonderful. There's a family we're, trip. We're, we're, close. we're close in age. We're four years apart, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Where do you live in Michigan? Where do you Detroit. Detroit? Yeah. Some areas of Detroit are good, some are bad, I hear. It's half and half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the east side's always really nice yeah. compared to New Orleans East, you know. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, same here. I mean, uh, you know. It's just like, yeah, like my grandmother, she's in real estate. I, I, I'm lucky to, to have nice middle class experience coming up. Yeah. Uh, like everybody. But, well, not uh, everybody. But, God bless you, did have that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, I mean, well, not so much an opportunity, but just, just family, and that's why I'm here. This is close to my fourth year in New Orleans. Oh, you live in here now? I live here, yeah. Okay. What, and what do you do? What do you do for work? A bartender at Dickie Brennan's. Oh, work. yeah. So you guys political? You, you know, I guess you keep your mind into well, the politics? I mean, yeah. Very much, yeah. Indeed. I am. And where do you stand politically? What do you... Do well, I mean, like, I don't, I, I don't like to say because I'm all about the, like... I'm personally not saying anywhere. I just stay open to everything. I have... I've read... I, I, thank you. Everybody has a... I know, a, I know enough to not, to to not de defeat my own heart. The way that most people my age do, you know, I know where I stand. I'm comfortable with that, and that's Thank just you. me. And I made my decision. See, you both gave me yeah. very good, yeah. intelligent answers there, but because yeah. people get caught up in the labels, exactly. You know, and exactly. that right there kind of defines. That's why I ask you why. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, I I'm always willing to talk about it to somebody who's willing to talk about it. Thank you. You don't just make this kind of discussion. With anybody. Thank you. Well, it's, that's it's why. It's a smart thing to do. This is what my grandfather told me yeah. to do. God bless Not, him. Yeah. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah. Wonderful. That's perfect. That's a, see, this is why I don't think there's enough of. 
see. And that's why I came out here to do this. Yeah. Because people are getting caught on the iPhones and they get caught in the computers. Yeah. We're not well, doing just, this enough just, anymore. Sir, I just made 30 and so like I, these are the things that are very important to me because I'm raising a, a, a young boy and that's probably the only tall I'll ever have. So, you know, Wonderful. It's, you know, it's important. It's important. Well, I tip my hat to you. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. You're doing. I think you're doing a fine. I think you're doing a fine job. I think you'd be raising them well. So great. Yeah. This is so. Yeah. This is like what I like to do. Come out here and kind of get this discussions going, because they are trying to. Like you can see my question here. The Democrat, can the Democrats win? Calling everybody that doesn't agree with them racist or Nazi. Not you know. exactly. Yeah, Not and exactly. But the thing is, if you if you pursue actions that are against uh, you know people that are pissed off and everything, yeah, yeah. Well, this they want the, us. But there's pissed off people. On they every want us side. this way. This is what they want. They want us divided. They want to shout at one another. All right. I mean. And that's why they bring up labels. You know, you're a Nazi. Oh, you're an ass. You know, I mean. It's, that's why I'm glad when you I asked you that question. You said, "Well, you know, no, I'm looking at all sides here. I'm not going to get, you know, I'm not going to get pigeonholed. I'm not going to do that crap." I, was, I, I, I love to hear that answer. I think everybody's really upset right now. I think they try to keep us upset. I mean, that's, that's the. What it is. I think they try to make us fight each other. Thank you. I mean, like, you, when you listen to. I'm, I'm not pick a side. I just stay where I want to. I stay No, neutral. staying neutral is always the way to say. Thank you. You vote because you have that privilege. Thank you. I'm not saying I don't vote. I just, I just, I just choose not to pick a side because it's always going to make us fight if you pick a side. Everybody got their opinion, but that's your opinion. I don't, it's not going to well, hurt me. If you, if you don't have a well, at one you, time or another, you got to make a stand, or you got to do like if you're going to vote, you're going to vote for somebody, that, whatever. That's why my brother is here under my wing. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, you guys are great. I love you. All right, love. Take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Here's a. Uh, let me give you something in case you get in trouble to help you out. All right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> This is a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> or commit suicide, right? Right? Right. How about that head speech? <laughs> All right. right, sir. All right, God bless you. I'm Trump tight. Oh, yeah. Well, this must be true love then, I guess, huh? That's good to see. I'm glad to see that. <laughs> well. She likes Trump. Get one with Hillary. Uh, <laughs> I want one with Hillary. <laughs> yeah, take that with her. She's an inmate. <laughs> no, Hillary got something to do with uh, that um, kidnapping them kids over there. Uh, and see. Man, you yeah, see. Yeah, see. No, Trump just getting right. Nah, no, baby, he tried to stop man. it. Trump he threw. Man. He threw. He threw Epstein off of. Yeah, uh, just like he tried to keep the immigrants out, but half of them work for him. Well, wait a second, darling. You know, have you ever <laughs> talked to anybody that's ever worked for him? Excuse me. The, the lady, the, uh, the interview was the Hispanic lady. No, I mean, now, have you personally talked? I don't know. I had to talk to I've anybody. talked to maybe about oh, two dozen people out here that have worked for him in all different capacities. And what they say about him? He's real. All right, I mean, give me just one example. One of his resorts... He came out and he went around and, and, and talked to all the groundskeepers, all the guys at groundskeepers, talked to him, each one of them, came up to the foreman and said, you're doing a good job, took out a lot of money and said, hey, share that with those guys. I mean, he he actually goes out, and, I've talked to two of his secret So what service. about the laws that he um, established for them? What about, what about those? The what? As far as the Im immigration? Well, uh, that, I mean, the whole immigration thing needs to be taken care of from the get-go. I mean, we are the most generous nation in the world. We allow more immigrants in than all the rest of the world combined. All we ask is you come in legally. That's all we're asking. That's all he's saying. Yes. Just come in legally for crying out loud. We're happy to have you. That's all. But if you come in illegally, don't expect us to pay for your, you know, your housing, your medical, your schooling. I mean, we ain't got enough room for that. We we can't. Like we got homeless Americans out here. We got to take care of. 
Let's take care of them first, and then we can start thinking about taking care of other people. <laughs> you know? Wow, <laughs> Did I give you a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton? <laughs> it's good for any crime in the world. The only problem is you got to identify yourself as Hillary. You know, you, 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 you got too much class to do that. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> you got the bulletproof vest on? Well, I got enough things to do. Let me put it this way I'm quicker on the draw. Quicker on the draw. <laughs> All right, man. Hey. You do your you, you do your security check before you came out. Make sure ain't no ain't no snipers. Ain't no snipers up nowhere. So what do you do back home, man? What do you do? Construction. Construction, great deal. I my old man built the first motel Long Island. I grew up with a hammer and saw in my hand. Wow. And they're still there. I checked the internet not long ago. The hotel's still standing, man. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Still there. Yeah, Long Island. So yeah, I mean, you know, my my saying is this: women have women have childbirth. We build things. Cause they ain't no better. For, I swear, it's a good feeling. You build a house, you go by later, you see that family in there. There's a pride in that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got that feeling. It's not about the money. The money's automatic. Well, yeah, the there. And it's hard to find people that do the work anymore, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a good craft. A lot of people know the craft, but they don't know the business. So there's a lot of bad business going on in construction. Yeah. You know. I'll walk in some yeah. Nice. All right, dog. Well, let me take off before she try to leave. I think she's... Oh, hey! Hillary! I didn't start a divorce here. Then I, I didn't want to do hey, it. Hey, Hillary! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> brother man. Well, uh, you know what? I think you're right. They can't win. Okay. And just because a person doesn't believe that, you know, more conservative, I don't mean I'm a racist. My buddy, like I said, he loves Trump. We just don't talk politics. <laughs> we get to that point, we talk about everything else. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Each his own. That's what it makes America great. Well, indeed, and that's and, and that's what I'm out here trying to prove. It's yeah. like you know, there used to be a time we could talk about it. Yeah, yeah. the Sunday dinners would be a little raucous, yeah. you know. But yeah. nobody got. I, I mean, to the point to fight of over it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is now. Now yeah. they're talking about actually killing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Everybody can have their own opinion. Vote who you want to vote for. That's why we have a democracy. Thank you very much. I mean, they're shooting bullets into ICE offices, and they got a thief out there beating people over the head. What the hell is that all about, man? Right. You know, so that's you know. Hey, yeah. are you an American? I'm an American. We all believe it. Hey, man. Hey, well, here, here's uh, something for you and your buddy. <laughs> this is uh, he'll appreciate this. This is a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to use this tonight. Out of Michigan, don't really like the North. God, people are much more moderate. I, I think, in a way, like when we go on vacation to the Carolinas or here or Honolulu, it's always a kind of a nice relief because there's not that division and that racism and stuff. Like at least it's not obvious. Like it's always in our face. So um, New, or New Orleans, New Orleans, we love visiting. But my wife can't take the humidity. Uh, she loves everything about this visiting, not living. Uh, 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 take care, my friend. Well, thank you very much. How are you doing, Captain? Where are you from? Baltimore. Baltimore. That rat-infested place. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm <laughs> What part of the city are you from? Well, I live in the county. In the county? Oh, good. What do you do up there? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in sales. Okay. I sell technology. Oh, okay. What kind of technology? Big data analytics. Uh, big business in that. Yeah. That's what it's all about right now, isn't it? The whole thing. I mean, uh, Cambridge Analytic. Uh, yeah, that's what's all yeah, about. Yeah, getting us all down to the individuals and targeting each one. And so, let me ask you: Should there be any? Should there be any regulation on that? Yes. Well, 
you know, you can't leave this people to their own will. People do whatever is good for them. They don't care about anybody else. We have regulation everywhere else, right? We have traffic regulation. If you didn't have it, people would do whatever is fastest for them. Slow everything down. So you got to have regulation. Without right. regulation, you got to protect the little guy. Who's going to protect the little guy? Oh, indeed. And that's, you know, uh, I'm, my, have you seen the movie The, the Great Hack? No, I have not. Okay, because it was all about uh, Cambridge Analytica, how Trump used the uh, analytics of, you know, individually targeting each person. Everybody can do it, it's just not him. I mean, oh, well, indeed. That's what, that, it, that's what it expanded on it went into. Yeah. Because now Google is expanding on it. That's why, uh, it was, I think it's Robert Epstein, who's uh, a warning that... Google has the opportunity or the ability to flip an election uh, yeah. subliminally by, you know, using the uh, algorithms to drive down certain. That's what a lot of the, ha a lot of it happened that way. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, <clears throat> great societies rise and they fall on their own weight. Right. And this society has risen, and it's going to fall on its own weight. Uh, it's because people can't adapt to change. Not and as quickly as it's happening. It's happening, sure. and I think I think the big big factor in Trump getting elected. I'm not a pro-Trump. You're a pro-Trump. I respect that. It's. I think it's. There's a change. There's a demographic change in this country. It's slowly, slowly happening, and and white people feel threatened. Like you know, feel like they feel like it's their country, and they feel threatened the country, and they're gonna do drastic things. Well, they're under attack. I mean, I don't yeah. think that they. That's what they feel like. People felt a threatened until they became like a target. Yeah, but if you think about all the all the terrorism, right? Who is it? White guys. No, not all the terrorism is white guys. We have it. Who shot in? Uh, uh, who shot uh, El Paso? If you look at Dayton, right? If you look at all the mass shootings. Yeah, it's... let's look at 9/11. Let's look at uh, let's look at California and the, the targets there. I, I mean, terrorism goes across the board. You can't say it's any one ethnic group because then you're getting bigoted. You're becoming racist. I mean, if you're just saying, oh, it's all white guys, that's racism. But look at it, isn't it? No, it's not. What did I just say? Was 9-11 all, all white guys? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm in one of the, probably the most diverse city in the world doing this, doing what I do. You know, if that doesn't prove that there is no institutional racism, then uh, I don't know what does. Sure, it exists, but not on a scale the Democrats are trying to push it. And if they keep on trying to win it by dividing us, they're going to lose big time. So, anyway, good, good. So God bless you. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, hit that like button, hit the share, go share these things, subscribe if you haven't already, resubscribe if you have. And please, go contribute. I can need the help. God bless you. See you on the streets.